Hi everybody, it's Catherine from In The Pink Designs. Today my project is a treat box with the Tricks and Treats stamp set and dies bundle along with the nested essential dies for this rectangle right here. Uh, if you buy this as a bundle, these two pieces, uh, you get 10% off. So make sure if you put it in your cart, you put them together in there. Alrighty. This box measures three and a half by two and three quarters by one half. And you just undo it like this. It opens. And inside I have Skittles and a fun dip. Alrighty, you can get away with just putting the Skittles in if you're gonna make a whole bunch and you don't wanna put in a lot. But if you want two treats, you can put the fun dip in there too. Okay, this is my host code. Please put that in for every order that is under 150, not including shipping and tax. Okay, so what we need is a piece of pumpkin pie that is eight by five and a half. You can get two of these out of each of your pieces of cardstock. I cut out this rectangle using the nested essential dies it's from them bones designer series paper and it measures about two and five two and five eighths this way by one and seven eighths this way i cut out a boo with the pumpkin pie we need a little bit of basic white for stamping the vampire we need three pieces that are three and a quarter by two and a half i did two with the bats and one with this uh, starry sky for the inside okay and then we also need one that is three and a quarter by one and a quarter okay so let me get my simply scored we're going to start on the eight inch side and we're going to score at one and a half two four and three quarters and five and a quarter then we're going to turn it to the five and a half inch side and we'll score at one half, one, four and a half, and five. All right, now I'm going to fold and burnish all of the score lines. Okay, we're going to start with the half inch rectangles on the right, the left and the right here. We have the two and three quarter inch strip on the bottom here. This is one and a quarter up here. All right. And what we're going to do is this. All right. So we're going to start down here on the left. We're going to go cut. We're going to count to the second score line and cut up to the second score line. We're gonna get rid of these two long rectangles here, and we're gonna get rid of this square on the outside. Okay, and then we'll wedge the square that's left. Now we're going to go to the next score line and cut it to the second score line. Get rid of the two rectangles on the bottom. And then we're going to get rid of the square that's on the outside. And wedge both sides of the square that's left. Okay, so now turn it so that this piece we just cut around is on the right. We're going to go start over here on the left and go to the first score line cut it to the second score line the next score line cut it to the second score line we're going to get rid of this bottom rectangle here and the next one okay and then wedge both sides of this square okay All right, now turn it over so that that flat piece is over on the left now. And we're going to go to the first uncut score line, cut it to the second score line, and the next score line, cut it to the second score line. We're going to get rid of that square on the bottom, 
and wedge both sides of the square that's left. And then we're gonna get rid of that extra rectangle on the bottom there. Okay, so the only places that we keep on the double half inch rectangles are on this middle piece. All right, and that is what your cardstock should look like after you're done scoring and cutting. Now we're going to attach this piece up this way okay so what we want is these two little rectangles instead of liquid glue on this it's easier to put tear and tape on both those tiny little rectangles there uh, squares sorry all right and then we're going to take the backing off it's just way too small to worry about gluing these okay we're going to take the score line on the top there and make it straight with this rectangle here, the inner one. It will just naturally go to that one and just make sure that the side matches up to the score line on the little tab we made. Okay. Then we're going to push these two pieces, these two extra rectangles in. And then we're going to bring our liquid glue. We're going to put a little bit on the bottom of the ones that we just put down and glue on these side rectangles that are sticking out. And then just pull it up and close it around and just make sure that your, your lines, your sides are straight there. It might be a little bit back. This line here might be a little bit back from the back, but that's just because it had to go around. But just make sure they're relatively straight. Okay, and that's your box. Okay, now we need our DSP. So we need the three pieces that are three and a quarter by two and a half. And I'm using the bat hound's tooth on the front and on the back. And then this starry sky, I believe it is one with the stripes all right on the inside flat. Okay, and I'm just gonna put them all on with liquid glue. All right, and then we need the piece that is three and a quarter by one and a quarter, and we're gonna put it right on the inside bottom. Now we'll just let this dry, and we're gonna do our stamping. So we need our little piece of basic black, uh, basic white, sorry, and I'm gonna be using this stamp and pierce mat. Okay, and we're gonna be using the face of the vampire, and just remember, <laughs> I did this wrong, He's wider at the top. His chin is skinnier. I flipped it over and it looked really strange. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be using the face, the hair, the head, the hair, and the face. And I'm going to be using Parakeet Party and Tuxedo Black. So I'm just going to do the face in Parakeet Party, the head actually. And then we're going to do the hair with Tuxedo Black. And I just kind of put it right above the ears and gauge it that way. Good. And then the face. And there we go. And then I'm going to cut it out with the Tricks and Treats dies, and I'll be right back. Okay, so there he is. All right, so now we need, let me get it over. All right, so I'm gonna put my fun dip in, and then my Skittles. Uh, 
Okay, then we'll close it and I'm going to get our black and white kingdom ribbon. And we're going to wrap it around the middle and tie a bow on the left hand side. Then we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of our rectangle here. And again, it's about two and five eighths by one and seven eighths. And it's from the nested essentials dies. Okay, and then I'm just going to center this right over the ribbon. Good. And then we'll put some more dimensionals on the back of our vampire. And put him right in the middle. All right, and then I'm going to get the boo. That's from the Tricks or Treats dies. And I'm just going to glue this right on the bottom of the face and the rectangle. Okay. And for the final touch, I'm going to use the bats and the glow in the dark bats and ghosts. These will be in the week of the 25th, which I think is just next week. All right, I'm going to put a ghost right up over here. And I'll put a bat over his ear right here. And one more under the bow. And there you go. If you have any questions, my email is below along with my, the link to my blog that has all the measurements and directions and also my shop, which you can purchase these products. And also there's a link to my Facebook group, which I post a lot of different information over there if you'd like to be. Uh, join that and also I wanted to mention that there is has been a little clearance rack refresh you can go and see if there's anything on there you like alrighty have a great day and I'll see you next time bye